hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima this is a part two of the series advice for 200 level medics if you've not seen the part one please go and see it i'll put the link up for you with that said let's get started another thing of course i'm going to tell you is use your own study schedule remember the advice i gave to you in 100 level i said use your 100 level to know what will work for you use your 100 level to try out different study methods now is the time for you to show off your study skills now is the time for you to use what have been tested and trusted by you do what works for you don't follow people to study in library if it is not going to work for you don't follow people to go for night class if it's not going to work for you don't follow people to do study groups if it's not going to work for you don't follow everyone to study a particular textbook if it's not working for you do what works for you do you that is what i'm going to tell you don't follow anybody if it's not going to work for you another thing i'm going to say is work on your study speed my dear the workload is massive in this 200 level one course alone in anatomy is the whole of the ss1 biology all compressed together so imagine you're doing like 8 to 9 to 10 to 11 12 14 15 courses and you now continue with the same speed you are using to study in your 100 level in your secondary school you will crash this is something i suffered firsthand don't be like me please work on your study speed if you've not seen my video on past study skills how to increase your study speed i'll put the link up for you please go and watch that video i'm sure it's going to help you you need to work on your study speed because you have so many things that you need to study within a short period of time another thing i'm going to tell you is keep your notes and your materials up to date don't miss classes and go and relax if you miss a class make sure immediately after the class you meet one or two people to give you their lecture notes make sure you have the materials or the slides from the lecturers don't miss class and go and relax and then it's the exam period you now start seeing new materials that you have not seen before don't do that to yourself please make sure all your lecture notes all your slides all your materials they are all up to date like i'll always tell you study either ahead of your lecturer or on the same speed with your lecturer don't be behind another thing of course i'm going to tell you is study smartly and of course you study smartly by using the right materials use the right textbook to study don't study the textbook that everybody is studying download the pdfs first download the soft copies of these textbooks and know the one that works for you if you've not seen my video on 25 textbooks for preclinical students i'll put the link up for you you would want to see that video after watching that video you'll be able to know the kind of textbook that will probably work for you so download the soft copies first and then read through flip through and see which one will work for you do that before buying the hard copy so you not waste your money buying a hard copy of a textbook that would not help you another thing of course choose the right youtube channels if you've not seen my video of youtube channels for medical students i'll put the link up for you that video is really going to help you make sure you have a playlist of those youtube channels that would help you throughout your 200 level there are a lot of things that your biochemistry lecturer or your anatomy lecturer may not be able to really explain for you to understand youtube will go a long way to help you another thing of course apart from your textbooks apart from your lecture notes apart from youtube channels there are some other online resources that can help you like anatomy zone et lab teach me anatomy those are some online resources that can help you a whole lot please make use of these things like soft copy atlas like all these 3d atlases they helped me in my time massively i'm sure they are going to help you and of course another tip i'm going to tell you is it's a completely different ball game now so the way you used to answer questions in 100 level it's not the same way you should answer questions in 200 level if you've not seen my playlist on how to answer questions in exam i'll put the link up for you how to answer anatomy question how to answer about chemistry question how to answer physiology question how to, ans how to answer your practicals all for distinction your 60s and 70s and above that playlist is going to help you in your 200 level don't answer your questions the same way you used to answer in 100 level you will crash drastically anatomy has its own way its own format for answering questions physiology has its own biochemistry has its own practicals they have their own make sure you answer questions in each of these exams accordingly and under the same anatomy embryology has its own way of answering questions histology have their own neuro they have their own gross they have their own so you should know how to answer questions in each of these courses and that playlist is definitely going to help you don't answer questions anyhow note the right way to answer your questions in such a way that even though you write two three four five sentences you will still do so well 
like in, i remember in my mock anatomy exam i had an 80 something percent in my theory meanwhile i used only one sheet i did not collect extra sheet and there's some people that collected loads and loads of extra sheets that weren't even able to score up to a 50 percent in theory note how you should answer your questions in such a way that even the little thing that you write will hit the punchline for your lecturers another thing is now you are going into a larger world you should now be prepared for some hurtful words now you're closer to other medical practitioners to be i'm talking about the nurses the pharmacists the anatomists the physiologists and all that be prepared for the competition that comes with it be prepared for the snarky comments be prepared for the hatred if you've not seen my video on struggles of a typical Nigerian medical student, I'll put the link up for you. You would want to see that video. Be prepared for it. Don't see it as a strange thing. If at all you encounter any issue like that, don't worry. Just look for someone you can talk to. That person will definitely help you out. Another thing I'm going to tell you is tutorials are very important if you need it. I know I mentioned in 100 level that you shouldn't get involved in useless tutorials. But no, 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 no. You see it's 200 level you need these tutorials that's why if you cannot afford to pay and attend the physical tutorials that's why youtube will help you so much try and get involved in tutorials either online or offline they'll go along with because these are things that you have never seen before these are things you've never heard of before tutorials will be of great help to you if you can and of course another thing is don't be ashamed to meet your classmates for help if you need help for me i don't have shame if there's anything i don't understand no matter who that person is eh as far as you're my course mate i will meet you even though i've never talked to you before I'll be like hi hello sorry i don't understand this please can you explain it to me you will see me meeting the person like as if i've been talking to that person no 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 that's the first time i'm meeting that person no so there's no shame in medical school so remove that garment of shame eh leave it before you enter 200 level because in 200 level there's no room for shame you can meet anybody whoever the person is to ask for help anything you don't understand don't feel like you're too big don't feel like oh because you used to have 70 70 70 70 you cannot meet someone who used to have 20 20 20 20 20 20 to help you understand something no 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 everybody can be of help to you in medical school no matter who that person is even though that person may not be able to explain to you the person could give you a material that will help you to understand things better another point that i forgot to add is that by the beginning of your 200 level you should know what exactly you're looking for do you just want to pass like you want to have just 50 and pass your preclinicals and move on to clinicals or do you want to have distinctions now you need to know this ahead of time so that you prepare very well if you want to have distinctions from from your first test to your second test to your third test, you need to be on point. Don't go below 60%. If you want to just pass, then, I mean, even though you have 40, 40, 40, 40, you can still pass. If you have probably 30 something in a few courses, like when I say few, I mean one out of 20 courses, you can still pass. But if you're aiming for a distinction, you have to prepare well. You need to work hard. You need to study hard. You need to watch my series on how to study for distinctions. You need to cook up your own study skill, your own study method and follow it judiciously. I need you to take notes that if you want to do masters abroad, if you want to apply for scholarships after your MBBS degree, you need grades. These distinctions are necessary because they will require your transcript. Of course, as usual, this video was just too long. So the remaining 18 will be talked about next week. I remain your girl, Jemima. Bye.